Yeah, Keith, uh, th in addition to those lavish trips and luxury vehicles, this new court filing claims more than $2 million meant to pay surrogates may have helped launch the owner of this Houston based company's rap career, paying for things like music videos and social media content, which has many families wondering if they'll ever see the money again. It's almost um, it's almost unbelievable. Christopher Ketman and his wife Caitlin are expecting their first child through surrogacy this October. We are very fortunate to have a baby on the way. But what's less fortunate for the Fair Oaks, California couple, they had some $45,000 in an escrow account when Houston based surrogacy escrow account management LLC or SEAM suddenly shut down. This is different because this is people just trying to start a family. They don't know what happened to the money. Their surrogate hasn't been paid, and they're in the same situation as these couples from across the country who have spoken with KPRC2. The company and its owner, Dominique Side, have been sued by a Harris County woman. Records claim one of hundreds scammed by SEAM. A subpoena of bank records revealed more than two million of the intended parents' money is alleged to have bankrolled her music career as Dom, a racy rap and R&B singer and music producer. This is the Spring Branch area building that housed Side's music studio. Inside, records reveal an estimated $1.3 million worth of studio equipment, Seam paid 21,000 bucks a month to rent it out, and since the escrow company's apparent collapse, it's gone up for sale for three and a half million dollars. The real estate listing shows the building will be sold with the equipment, which court records allege got bought with escrow money. In total, records show more than six million dollars from intended parents funded sides studio known as VGN Bay Studios. The escrow funds also went toward land and a custom built home in Louisiana records claim meant to wrongfully enrich Dominique and her business partners who have been named in the lawsuit as Anthony Hall, Frederick Denson and Kevin Yancey. All of it described as a fraudulent scheme to defraud intended parents. When people are going through struggles and going through hardship um, to take advantage of them during this time is absolutely the worst thing that you can do. And tonight in the last hour, we've learned about those 23 families from around the world who say their losses to Seam are more than a million dollars. Also new tonight, a second lawsuit has been filed against Seam. That attorney telling me that he's heard from nearly 100 families impacted from across the U.S. and also in other countries. The FBI is still asking for any potential victims of Seam to come forward and report information. You can find the link with this story at click2houston.com. Now there is a hearing in one of these cases scheduled for tomorrow. We do not yet know if side will be there. We've continued reaching out to her and still tonight have not heard back, but we of course will be in the courtroom and bring you any updates live in the newsroom. Sean, I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. All right, Bryce, thank you.